Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here for David Wood FX. Today to bring you a quick tip requested by On1836 on YouTube on how to create a gold logo. I have a tutorial on creating gold text and in that tutorial I showed you how to apply gold text effect to text using the state-of-the-art Chrome filter which is under Files, Create, Logos, SOTA Chrome. But that's all really cool but you can't actually apply it to a logo so in today's tutorial I'll show you how to do that but let's go ahead and get started I'm just going to open up a new image I'm just gonna use the default settings and fill this in with black and then I'm going to take my paintbrush choose white as my foreground color and then take the brush size and just make it bigger and just draw a squiggle like that Next, what we need to do is we need to take this image, go to image mode, set it to grayscale, and then if you don't have your channels um, dock open, then I suggest you get that out, which you can find under Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Channels. And in here there will be a gray channel, and what we need to do is we need to right click and duplicate this, and this second one will act as a mask for the layer. Now we can go back to our image, go to Filters, Decor, Stencil Chrome. And this does the exact same thing as the Soda Chrome. Um, instead, it will take anything that is white and make that gold, and then the black it will just leave empty. Or if you uncheck this Chrome white areas, then the black will be gold and the white will be empty. And uh, the settings, you can leave those pretty much the same. I'm just going to decrease the Chrome factor by a little bit and hit OK and there we have it and this is our final outcome and as you can see it looks just like our gold text which if I just quickly create some text and just set up the settings the same and there we have the text and all we have to do for this is just delete this top layer you can't drag and drop while I'm recording but just delete that top layer and there we have the gold text underneath the same with this effect we just have to delete this top layer and there is our gold and we can go ahead and like fill this background in with a more suitable color and get rid of the drop shadow and then go back to our text that is not our text take this layer take this top layer and I have to copy the visible and then paste it in here paste as new layer there we have our text effect just as we have this squiggle effect and that is pretty much all there is to that and then you just go about following the rest of the tutorial and you should be able to come up with something similar to the tutorial result only instead it'll be applied to a logo so that's it for this quick tutorial I hope that it helped you out and I'm David Wood, David Wood FX and I will see you next time